Bohemian Rhapsody. This is going to be my third video showing the exact same paper. This is just a plain white paper with a little bit of a silver swirl in there. I find that this type of paper makes me think bridal shower or wedding gift. It's just a little bit more elegant. It doesn't mean you couldn't use it for a birthday or, or something similar, but what I wanted to do today was demonstrate something super easy. In fact, it can't get much easier than this. And it's something that is kind of my secret weapon, I guess, when it comes to gift wrapping. And that is that I have a huge stash of items that I continually recirculate and reuse and this particular gift um, I had something that fit perfectly on this box so I just wanted to demonstrate so this is my secret weapon I actually leave preset bows and kind of embellishments that have come off gifts at Christmas time or at birthdays. And so we take the, you know, the wrapping paper that's been torn off and we recycle that and I gather up all of the leftover bows and ribbons and so on and I generally keep them. This is one of my shortcuts to not only gift wrapping but also to saving money and not spending you know, a fortune on bows and ribbons and so on that you're always tossing out. I reuse almost everything. So in this particular case, as I was getting this gift ready, I saw this in my stash and I thought, oh, I wonder if it would fit. And it does. So I thought it was just a perfect way to explain to you and show you an example. One of my favorite things for doing this is you can often find at Christmas an elastic kind of a ribbon. And so often for me, I have a lot of silver and gold. It's nice if you could get black and white as well, but I find you often can't find it. I actually just picked up this craft cord with the uh, this elasticity in it very recently at the dollar store. The nice thing about the elasticity in it is it's flexible, so it will fit different sizes of gifts. So it's one of the things that I love to do, especially at Christmas time when you're wrapping a lot of gifts, because it can be a little bit overwhelming when you're trying to make everything look beautiful. And and um, it can take a lot of time. So I just wanted to show you how this works. So this is elastic. I put this on and this literally was in, um, I have a, a big basket of, of things that I just reuse and you can see it's a bit of a mess. So this actually at one time was a bow that I bought at the dollar store. It would have had kind of two ends well, this looks like it might even still be a bit of a bow here. You can kind of see the loop here. So there's a loop. One of these loops at some point must have kind of come undone. So you could do one of two things here. You could actually take this and you could just kind of fold it over. So now you can see it looks like a bow again because it's wire, it actually holds its shape. I don't have to even secure it. I don't have to tie it. I don't even have to remake the bow. At first look, you can see there's a loop here and a loop there. This would be the ends on my bow. And these bows were bought at the dollar store. They often at Christmas time will come on kind of a cardboard and they will have like almost, it looks like a twist tie and they'll come with maybe six or eight bows. I think they're actually meant for Christmas trees, but I always pick these up at Christmas time because I find when you look at them on the, on the cardboard, they look tacky and ugly, but you can take them and dress them up and make them into something really beautiful. So you can see this had some just silver curly ribbon. And if you look carefully, it's a little bit bent. That's because it's been stored forever. It's, it's something I've used over and over again, but you can see how I can just take and I can play with that ribbon a little bit. If I find that there's places that are maybe a little bit straight or aren't sitting right, I can take my scissors to them again. Um, as long as I'm careful when I'm recurling, I can add. Sometimes if you redo a ribbon over and over again, you can actually make it so it won't recurl anymore. So you have to kind of be gentle, but I could kind of straighten that out a little bit. Um, that little kink in there, and just add a little bit more curl. And what makes this so beautiful is that I've used this present stuffing before. It's an iridescent present stuffing. So it would typically go in the top of a gift bag but what I often do will is incorporate it into the finished look on a gift. So you can see this is a little dollar store bow that came in probably a pack of six or eight. This is a curly ribbon. This is an elastic ribbon that would have been picked up at Christmas time. And then it's uh, combined with that little bit of iridescent. And so all I would do is tie that all into the middle of the bow. And you can see it doesn't matter with, whether this is a bow or not. I wouldn't even have had to really um, folded that piece back in. If I took this out and my bow didn't work and I just left this like this, it actually doesn't even really matter because the silver in it is just kind of creating the beautiful look overall. So it doesn't even matter whether it's a bow or not. I am going to put it back 
back, fold it back to make it look like a bow, but it wouldn't have to. And so you can see how beautiful this is and I literally did nothing. I dug it out of my box, I slid it on the gift and played with it a little bit to bring some of that dimension back because it gets so flat from being stored. But uh, what I want to encourage you to do is start saving those things. I don't take it apart, leave it together. My Christmas wrapping is a bucket full of things that I really, sometimes I have to alter the size a little bit, but I really reuse over and over and over again so I don't have to come up with original ideas. And in many cases, what it means is just literally taking the already sized embellishment with that elastic on there and I can make it fit a varied size of a present. So it often works just as is. So thank you for visiting Bohemian Rhapsody today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great gift wrapping tutorials. Also, don't forget to share.